So we come to uh, this example where we are going to learn a concept about catching up. So it's something like um, uh, in a race, you your friend will run first and then you will need to catch up with your friend. So there's an idea of catching up. So you might need to think about when we catch up with somebody, uh, will our speed, that if you catch up with your friend, will your speed you and your friend's speed be the same? Or the time taken to be the same? Or the distance uh, moved will be the same? So there is an important idea here. So later on, we'll explore this first. So again, right, when we read a question, we'll try to draw a diagram. There's a lot of information. So don't forget our information column again. So just now I introduce you the idea of information column. So the first thing, let's get our information column. The information column should give you the formula. So this is the most basic first. Otherwise, you will get quite lost. Okay, so in this question, right, I will have my information column and then I have a catching up idea. So when we catch up, we catch up with somebody. The concept is they travel the same distance. So you think about it like the example that I gave just now. So your friend will uh, start first and then you will catch up with your friend. So obviously because your friend start first, you've got to be faster. So you will need to be faster so that you can like uh, chase after your friend and then uh, be able to reach him. So which means you should be faster than your friend. Okay, but then right, um, the, the distance will be the same. Okay, so later on we'll talk about it a, a bit more. So let's organize our information first. So right now I got two cars. So I, they are both traveling from the same position, P to Q. So I can choose to draw it in this way. Sorry, this is car A. So they are traveling like a, a P to Q. Okay, so then um, car A starts at eight o'clock and the speed is 65 kilometer. So actually I didn't, I, I, I wouldn't know the distance between P and Q. So at the moment I don't have the information at all. So car B, same thing, P to Q, but uh, car B starts later, start 9.30. So car B is the slower one, maybe car B, the drivers uh, wake up late, right? So then um, they, uh, I, I don't know the speed. I also don't know the distance. I don't know the speed. I don't know the distance. So same here. I also don't know the distance. So both distance will be the same. So can you see car B wake up late? So car B start at 9.30. Then uh, car A start at 8 o'clock. Okay. So the key thing will be car B took two and a half hour to catch up with car A. Okay, so that means, right, you might need to think what time will car B meet up with car A? So think about it, two and a half hours after 9.30. Okay. So two and a half hour after 9.30 is 12 o'clock. So finally, car B managed to catch up with car A at 12 o'clock. That means car B uh, meet up with car A at 12 o'clock. Okay, so uh, 
with this idea, we're going to answer the question. So if you look right, I need to find the average speed of car B. So in order to answer the question, average speed, in order to answer the question, average speed, I will need the distance. I also need the time. So either way, I don't have, I don't have the time, I don't have the distance. Okay, so we got to use the 12 o'clock to help us. So because, right, let's think about car, uh, car A. At 12 o'clock, car A will have traveled four hours. So since eight o'clock, right? Car A will have travel four hours. And because the speed, car A is moving at 65. So I can actually find the distance traveled by A when it hit 12 noon. So that will be four hours multiplied by the speed. So I'm using this formula. So that will give me 130 kilometer. That means by 12 noon, um, car A already traveled 130 kilometer, but uh, car A hasn't reached town Q yet. So that also meant that distance traveled by B, by 12 noon, will also be 130 kilometer because car B had catch up with A already. So they will have traveled the same distance. And the time taken by B from 9.30, till 12 noon, it is the two and a half hour. So now I have some idea. So B will have traveled 130 kilometer in two and a half hour. So right now I have an idea already. So car B traveled 130 kilometer in two and a half hour. So that means, right, the speed of B will be distance over time. Meaning 130 kilometer divided by two and a half hour. Oh, I think I make a mistake. I make a mistake. It is um, 260 kilometer. Okay, sorry, I make a mistake. It should be 260 kilometer. Okay, my mental calculation went wrong. So it will be a 104 kilometer per hour. So now I found the speed. I found the speed for car B. Okay, so with the speed, right, let's carry on with the next part. So uh, car B reached Q one and a half hours after catching up. So the one and a half hour later is after catching up. So let's try to find out what is the distance. Okay, so what time? Car B reach Q. It will be one and a half hours after 12 noon. So that will be 130. So it's 130 p.m. So when does he start? So let's take a look. 
1.30 p.m. He started at 9.30. Right? He started at 9.30. So how much time taken by B from P to Q? He took a total of two and a half hours plus the one and a half hours. So he took a total of four hours. So car B take a total of four hours from P to Q. And car B did it at this speed. So the distance from P to Q. Again, what's the distance formula? If you are starting to get confused, okay, go to the uh, column, information column. So it's speed times, uh, distance is speed times time. Speed times time. With a speed of 104 kilometer per hour and uh, four hours taken. So the whole distance is 416 kilometer. So this is the full distance from P to Q. So 416 kilometer. This is also 416 kilometer. So they travel the same uh, distance. So from here, I can find the time that car A will take. So from here, I can find the time car A will take. So again, what's the time formula? So what's the time formula? So if you start to have a bit of mind block, go to your information. Time formula is distance divided by speed. So it is distance divided by speed. The distance is 416 kilometer. The speed has already been given by the question, 65 kilometer per hour. So from here, you will get 6.4 hours, which is equivalent to six hours and 0 0.4 times 60. That is a 24 minutes. So that means, right, car A takes six hours and 24 minutes. So what time does car A reach? So from eight o'clock, you add on another six hours, 24 minutes. He, car A actually reached at two o'clock and 24. So can you see the idea? So this one is a bit complicated because there's an idea of catching up. So you got to link the two, uh, two the, the two cars, the two distance. So it can be quite confusing. So this catching up idea will still apply in maybe some science question or some, uh, when you go upper side, there will still be this catching up idea. So no matter what, when, a car catch up with a slower car, or you are the faster one, you catch up with a slower one. Idea of catching up is always same distance. Okay, so that is the key thing on this example nine. 